Hi, welcome to my sewing studio. Glad you joined in. I'm Connie Koch and I am really excited to get to sew with you. At the end of this Suede Says Sew Along, we will all be enjoying our Suede Says Travel Bag for all of our weekend getaways. This week, we will be focusing on cutting and prepping of all of our fabric pattern pieces. With all the interfacing and stabilizers we will be using for our bag, this may not be so much fun. But I can honestly tell you and can't stress enough that the importance of this step is just as important as all of our stitching up time. First, I want you to make sure that all your tissue pattern pieces are all cut out. Second, be aware of all the markings that you will find on those pattern pieces. There are triangles, there are circles, there are arrows, everything plays a huge part. There's also some writing on there. Don't discount all that writing. There's a wealth of information that is within that writing and one being we will focus on today. That is how many pieces of fabric you will cut out of each of those pattern pieces. If you want to do the original pattern as it is out of the pattern envelope with the pre-quilted fabric, what is actually on the pattern itself, that is the numbers you want to use. If it says cut two, you cut two. If it says cut one, you cut one of those particular pattern pieces. However, if you are going to be sewing along with me, as you know, I am going to make it a little more structured. I'm not going to be using pre-quilted fabric for my pockets. I'll be using interfacings. I will also be using a different vinyl for one of my couple of my pattern pieces and the only pre-quilted fabric I will be using will be for the outside front and the outside back main body pieces. So I will give you those numbers if you are sewing along with me because there will be a lot more to cut out if you're sewing it up my version. For pattern piece one that is your front and back. The original pattern piece, you would be cutting only two pieces of pre-quilted fabric. If you notice my version, I want you to cut two of your pre-quilted fabric, cut two of lining fabric, also cut two of that shape flex fusible interfacing or any other fusible interfacing of your choice. Then the fusible interfacing you will press to both pieces of your lining fabric. For pattern piece two, which is your pocket front, the original pattern you would only be cutting one of your pre-quilted fabric. If you notice my version, I would like you to cut two of your outside fabric, one of your fusible interfacing, and you cut one of that decor fuse stabilizer, which is your heavyweight stiffer stabilizer. Then on one of your fabrics, you will fuse that fusible interfacing, the softer of the two, and then on the other fabric, obviously to the back side, you will fuse on your decor fuse stabilizer. And that's for your pocket front. Pattern piece number three is your pocket back, as well as it's your inside pocket for your front and your back. I know this is going to get really confusing. So you may have to rewind this one just a couple times. So the original version for the pocket back, which is the front part of your travel bag, you only would cut one of your pre-quilted fabric. For the inside pocket front, you would be cutting one of your pre-quilted fabric and you'd be cutting one of your mesh fabric 
because remember in my original you saw that I actually added the the wonderful mesh pocket inside I will be doing this as well however I actually will be using my front and back body piece for my mesh pattern because I want a full mesh maybe possibly with a zipper so my version if you notice with this particular pattern piece for the pocket back you need to cut two of your fabric pieces cut one of the decor fuse stabilizer and that's for your pocket back that's the outside pocket for your inside pocket that we'll put in the front on the inside you're going to cut two again of the fabric so you're actually going to end up with four pieces of your fabric and then you're going to cut one of the fusible interfacing so we're going to go a little softer with that pocket on the inside with our stabilizing than in the outside so pattern piece number four is your bottom of your travel bag in the original pattern, you'll be cutting only one of your pre-quilted fabric. In my version, if you notice, I would like you to cut one of your outside fabric, one of your lining fabric, and then you're going to cut one of your fusible interfacing. Now I'm using vinyl for the bottom of my bag, so I will be fusing that interfacing to my lining fabric. If you are not, and you're using regular canvas or whatever fabric you're going to be using then I would suggest fusing your interfacing to your outside fabric I also do you see this gridded plastic this needs to be cut at six inches and a quarter so six and a quarter inches by twelve and three quarters that will also be sandwiched in between our lining fabric as well as our outside fabric for more stability. So again, that dimension is six and a quarter by 12 and three quarters. And pattern piece number five, which is the fifth and final pattern piece we have to cut is our top and side. This is a very, very long cut on the fold rectangle piece. So in the original, you can see you cut one on the fold. In my version, I'm going to be cutting one on the fold of my fabric, which happens to be vinyl. And then I will be cutting one on the fold of my lining fabric. And then I'll be cutting one on the fold of my fusible interfacing. And again, just like the bottom, if I was not using vinyl, I would be fusing my interfacing to my outside fabric but in this case since I'm using vinyl on my outside fabric I will be fusing my interfacing to the lining fabric well there you have it that was a lot to cut and fuse together but you know what I have to tell you you will be absolutely amazed at what your bag is going to look like I also want to make a, just a little note on the, my bottom pattern piece as well as the top or sides and top which are the ones I am doing in vinyl if you are not using vinyl which is obviously more heavy weight of a fabric don't just cut one interfacing cut two interfacings and fuse both of them on both pieces your lining and your fabric that will add more structure or better yet cut one out of that decor fuse on both pattern pieces so you have a little more stiffer and heavyweight kind of like what you're doing with your pockets so I hope that helps I'm excited so you get cutting you get fusing and pressing and come back next week and we're gonna start our construction until next time